everyone, welcome again to my channel and today I wanted to do the first impression on this foundation I'm powdered as well, this couple over here and it's the Fit Me Poreless and Matte, Matte, Matte Plus Poreless and yeah, they just came out of the drugstore and they cost around 12 13 dollars and I'm afraid this one is 8 to 10 bucks. And you can find it at Walgreens, CVS, or whatever drugstore you have around in the United States. Also, you can find it in other countries, I think. I don't wear, I'm, I'm not wearing any makeup on my face. And I just want to try. I just, um, also, I want to say, like, I'm a really yeah. huge fan of the first Fit Me. And I got the same. No. I got like a really light color compared to the old one. Just let me put it out. Yeah, this is the 112 and this is the 150. They look exactly the same, just the sticker because I won't say the packaging change. Just the sticker change, but they look exactly the same. They're the same. The color. This one is a little bit pink and this one is a little bit orange, yellow, not orange, yellow. So one great thing in the tone or the shade of the foundation is on the top. So if you're a makeup artist and you have organized all your foundations, so you will be, um, it will be so easy to pick one and that's it. Unfortunately, I didn't get the powder for this Fit Me. I can compare the formula between the foundation so if you want to know what I think about this fit me matte for less just do it I know it all okay the one I'm pumped is the original fit me the first one and as you can see it's a little bit pinkish compared to the other one the new one, Madden Coreless. And the coverage is really high, it's full coverage foundation, but it doesn't have like the matte effect. This one right now that is very on my arm is the Fit Me Madden Poreless. As you can see, it's a little bit yellowish or whitish, subtum, but in camera with the light and everything, you can tell that it's really matte. When you mix that all, when you mix that together, you create like the full coverage, but you lost a little bit of the matte effect. But that's it. So I will put a few drops of the foundation, the tone or the shade I, that I picked or chose was 112. And I think it's the lightest one, but I'm not sure. I got this on, at Walgreens. And I don't remember because I got it last year before my trip to Venezuela. So I'm um, thinking it was like 13 or 14 or something like that. So I would use this uh, brush that is an angle foundation brush by Ikotu. And I really like to apply foundation with like this. So I will apply on the half of my face and I will contour it. And let me see which one is the worst one. Okay. Okay, this is the final result. I don't know if you can tell the difference between this side without any foundation and this side with that foundation. So, I can tell looking at the mirror anything, but if you see something, oh my god. So, maybe when I look at the video afterwards, I will be, I will be able to see something, but just looking at the mirror, I can see any difference. Of course, I don't have like a, a lot of imperfection, uh, imperfection in my face, but <laughs> uh, just just let me talk about a little bit of the foundation. The coverage is is that those one you need to build up. That is not full coverage foundation. It's really light, but also it's lightweight. 
that I, I feel nothing in my face right now but of course apply like three uh, coats but I can't tell anything it's not true matte like it's not matte matte is um, I still see a little bit of shiny thing on my forehead forehead and also on my cheek in here so I don't know if you can tell it uh, I think my dark yeah like my dark circles are mini side a little bit with the foundations but I apply three colors so the coverage is medium and it can be built up um, the texture is really soft the weight is really light the color match my skin tone pretty well um, so as the all foundation really they don't have like well I don't have problem with the shape but yeah so let me put all the foundation on my face and I'll as you can tell I did a little bit more than just complete my foundation I hope you know it. let's go to, let's go try it out the powder and it's a mouth coreless um powder is it normal to oily so i'm guessing it's that the type of skin so it comes like this you just lift the lid or cap or whatever you call and you find the powder and a little circle thing like every powder and then you flip it over and you have a mirror and a sponge i will use this sponge because i use the old one with the old powder and it seems to work perfect so I will put it in the half of my face as I did the last time and we will compare it the skin with the foundation and with the powder and with the powder till this point I find the, the powder really good it works really good actually it's covered in all my imperfections that the foundation couldn't also it's cleaning for any residues of the eyeshadow that I use that is really shimmery and the texture is amazing I think between the foundation and the powder which is the powder that the one I recommend to use or go and buy it because it's pretty good <laughs> so this is the final result and this part of my face I do have the powder and this one is naked it doesn't have anything the texture of the powder is really soft it's really smooth and also you can feel that you're wearing makeup it's also lightweight wearing makeup and that's what i like about these this product when they put the name fit me and uh, it goes with uh, with the match of your skin tone or your skin shape so, but they also try to improve the formula, improve the power, the product, and make it a little bit comfortable. So they 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 make this that the no also is matte, especially for oil oil skins, uh, and poreless like it's trying to cover everything in a porcelain line, and it did it did. Yeah, let me see like a little bit because I need to see my pores and they they really like their coverage and I can tell if I have some wearing the makeup um yeah I think the combination is pretty good and I wouldn't spend the money I'm not regretting it to buy this product so I will apply the other half of my face and see you soon that comes when a new product comes out like a remake or something like that like this one that if we had the fit me the original fit me but now they come with a matte and poreless so should i buy it um really no like if you if you do have the old fit me like the, the original one if that is enough that is they're pretty close and pretty similar what i recommend or what i would do 
if I didn't buy the foundation, I would buy the powder because the powder will make the difference. So if you can buy those two, that will be really perfect. You will have the coverage of the Fit Me, the, the beautiful maker theme that the, these foundation have, and also you have the manifestation of the Fit Me powder. Second question that always comes in the video that I do a review, especially in my Spanish channel, is should I wear or can I wear the foundation by itself? Uh, I wouldn't do it. Like I live in Texas and Texas is really hot. So now it's winter, so maybe I would wear the foundation by itself now. But in summer, I wouldn't. I know I said that it's matte, but I'm not trusted. Like I would trust it, but my skin is meat, so May I will start to get shyness on my T-cell, on my forehead. So, no, I want to wear it myself. Um, should I buy it? Yeah, but I, if I tell you if you already have the Fit Me or if you have the Power Fit Me, I don't know how it is. But I wouldn't buy it if I do have the original formula. If I do have the first product that it came out. I mean, this one. <laughs> so, but if you want to get a nice duet or a nice couple of good things that, that are new that is a new formula and matte because now it's like a matte epidemic like everything is comes in matte formula so yeah i would give it a try so every person is different like i'm different from you you're different from me that's what makes us special <laughs> this is so beautiful <laughs> but what i mean is like not because it doesn't work for me, you wouldn't try it. Just give them my, my opinion. Maybe you're like me. But the first issue that comes with foundation for myself is they don't match with my tone, with my skin tone. And this one seems to match perfectly. So yeah, I'm very happy with my purchase. I won't return the product. I'm not normally do it just if it's really awful. <laughs> but if in the future, I won't get another foundation if I have the original formula because this is the third time that happened. The original is better or is the same. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope this is so helpful for you. I will list the prices of the those of those three two products, and also um, if you have any question for me, just leave me a comment down below. Thumbs up if you like this video and share with all your friends. Maybe they want to buy it. Just say, hey, that girl said, may you show things twice. <laughs> um, see you in my next video. And I hope see you all y'all in the next one. So, send your kiss and bye. So, so, actually, this one is a recommendation of my friend. But I think the first one is me. Like I actually like the name to be a bad cosas mezcladas, con prueba y sabor y estas son las sopas que yo le decía y son perfectas para llevarlas en la cartera se parecen las de Bath World Works pero en vez de la topita que tú, la tienes que levantar después tienen esta que es bien chévere que era la edición de navidad que es de